Hello everyone. Back by popular demand, we're going to do our weekly coin tour and coin shop walk around and show you some new items we have in the store. We have some new cool gold and silver pickups, as well as some numismatic items that just came back fresh from grading. So I'm excited to share those with you all, so stick around. We'll start our walk around today back in the corner, and this is kind of what it looks like as you walk into my shop. Those of you that have watched the videos before, you understand this is what you see when you walk in. It's kind of funny, I do get people that do watch the channel. Uh, maybe they don't live in my city of Minot, North Dakota, and they happen to come this way and visit, and they make a stop in the coin shop, they'll walk in, and I've had it happen many times. Wow, it looks just like it does on YouTube. It absolutely does. There's no smoke or mirrors or camera tricks here. This is what you see when you walk in. So. Yeah, I get what it is. I mean, I, I had the same reaction when I went to the world famous gold and silver pond in Las Vegas. It's like, wow, this is just how it looks on the TV show. So a little bit uh, different, obviously. They're a, a huge, huge platform and nationally or worldwide renowned. So, But it's uh, cool nonetheless to see something in person that you've been seeing on TV. So, But without uh, holding you guys up, we'll start the walk around here. I do want to feature this because we're always adding to this. As mentioned before, our silver dollar sale, 10% off Morgan and Peace dollars all month long, all the month of August. We have sold a lot, uh, but we do keep adding. We get new ones that come in each time. These are usually the most popular bins. We have, you know, this is a $40 retail bin here, but 10% off makes them 36 bucks. Out of this bin, we actually also do three for $100. So there's actually some nice, examples in here. There's a lot of pre-1921 Morgans in varying conditions. There's an 1878, 1879. So there's some oldies in here. You're not going to find really nice uncirculated coins in here for 36 bucks unless you start looking at peace dollars. There are some very nice peace dollars in here that you can get three for a hundred dollars. So, but people do enjoy digging through these buckets. Uh, this being one of the most popular because actually this one is a double sale. Not only are they not 40 bucks, if you buy one or two, they're 36 each, or you can get multiples of three for $33.33. .33. So heck of a deal on those, we've been moving a lot. Uh, these next two bins are popular as well. This is a little bit better. These are 55-ish retail on sale for 49. So again, we got some higher grade piece dollars. There's some nice toned examples. Now you're looking at more uh, AU and extra fine pre-1921 Morgans. There's even some uh, phony baloney slabbed ones, but this is a beautiful coin. This is a, a very nice mint state piece. So, but anyway, uh, people like digging through those bins. Next here, we got the $70 bin. They're on sale for $63. Now you're really starting to get some nice pieces. Here's an uncirculated 1890 Morgan. Uncirculated 1885 O. Just some really, really nice pieces there. So anyway, I'm not gonna go through them all, but the prices go up on these other bins as well. Um, nicer quality and uh, rarer year and mint mark combination in these, so hence the higher price. We also did get a couple of uh, fresh pieces of currency in. I don't see these very often. This is a United States legal tender, United States note, series of 1917. It's in really bad shape, but it's over 100 years old and you truly don't see these very often. Cool artwork on the back. Now that I flip this over, I may have featured this on the channel before. Uh, 85 bucks on that guy. This is what I'm real excited about, and I maybe showed this on my walk around the live one last Saturday. It's all a blur, quite frankly, but um, anyway, I'll have to watch it back. But this is an 1899 silver certificate in AU55. So really, really nice quality one here. Almost like the day it was made. So, but I've had some genuine interest in this. I got $450 on this. Had a few different customers asking about it. So we do have those uh, cool pieces of US currency in stock. I did add some coins into my copper bin. We have lots of different designs of copper. We've got uh, Donald Trump themed. We have 
buffalo. We have uh, some Native American honoring ones with eagles on the back. Uh, we have the Bitcoin design. Uh, here's a different Trump one with Trump and Kim Jong-un. So yeah, just a lot of different options, but we're always adding to that bin. P copper is a popular metal that people buy. Uh, although don't buy it as an investment metal. Buy it as a novelty for now. Copper will have to go up a hundred times for these to be worth what they retail for. So don't look at it as an investment metal. Look at it as something fun. So we'll walk back over here. Got some things set out on a tray. Uh, this wasn't supposed to be here actually. I gotta put this on that tray when I get time because I sold my five ounce and didn't replace it. So anyway, here's some new items that have come into the shop. These are the ever so popular Scottsdale Cowboy Round. These are four nines pier. They're put out by the Scottsdale Mint. I was able to procure a pretty large order of these. I do have a hundred in stock currently. And uh, if you can see down here at the top there, one ounce, four nines, silver cowboy round, spot plus five. So these are approximately twenty-seven seventy-five at the moment. That's the cash in store price, of course. Also, we got a bunch of uh, different sovereign coins in. This was one of my favorites because I don't see it very often. This is a Cayman Islands Marlin. This one in particular is from 2018, but it's a really cool design. From the Cayman Islands, it's mirror finish and the rim, if you can see it in the light, it's almost lenticular. Similar to this cowboy round, honestly. So kind of cool that they do that, but yeah, that's available in the shop. Those are actually gonna run $30 each. Those have a bit of a higher premium. I did get a shipment from my buddy Dave at Coin Huskers of 10 ounce Unity and Liberty silver bars. So I do have these back in stock. They have a serpent on the back, Lady Liberty on the front, E Pluribus Unum. And then this came in the shop. It's a 10 ounce Lion of England, Queen's Beast. It's a 2022, but uh, somebody sold this just yesterday to me in the shop. So I do have that available. That's a cool piece, a nice thick, chunky 10 ounce piece of silver. It does have a bit of a collector value attached to it, hence the price tag. And then these two are fresh back from grading. Uh, this actually came back exactly as I figured, an AU 53, 1891 CC. Got $420 on that. That's one of the semi-key Carson City Morgans, but that's fresh back from grading. Literally just got it yesterday. And then this one came back, as I had hoped, an MS-63 proof-like. And I don't know if the video on here will do it justice, but it has really frosty surfaces. Lady, Lady Liberty is blast white, but the background behind her is such a nice shiny mirrored finish. You can see the cartwheels as I rotate it in the light there. But yeah, 1883 MS-63 Proof-like, uh, that's a $445 coin. The back is equally as pretty. So I was excited to get those back. Uh, a lot of people ask, let me get this in focus here, sorry. A lot of people ask, you know, what are your prices on Sovereign Silver? What are your prices on Eagles? What are your prices on Rounds? Well, they do fluctuate, but they haven't fluctuated much lately. Um, except if you're talking about eagles, because those actually did tick down another 25 cents. Uh, but impaired sovereign silver is a, a kind of a new thing that I like to do in the shop. Any sovereign silver that comes across the counter, whether it be from a customer or I buy it from a wholesaler, you know, pieces like this, this marlin, or even silver eagles, Canadian maple leaves, anything put out by a government. If it's not brilliant uncirculated, meaning it might have a milk spot, a fingerprint, a scuff, a rim ding, a scratch, anything like that already makes it discountable and put into a bin like this. Sovereign silver spot plus three and a half. These are very, very good sellers because it's a way to more cheaply buy one ounce government issued silver. Right now I have a ton of variety. I'm not sure how many are here, but there's probably 75 to 80. Here's an Australian kangaroo. Here's a Canadian maple leaf. And as I mentioned, all of these have their own minor issues, but it's still cheap sovereign silver. 
Uh, here's a one ounce silver Britannia. I think this one had some milk spots on it. Yeah, right up on the top there. If you can let me get this focused better. See that on the top. Very minor, but still it, uh, it gets discounted if they look like that. And then we got uh, Somalian elephant, same thing. These have some scuffs and scruffs on them. But they're cheap, sovereign silver. What else do we got? Or do we have anything else that I can show you? I think it's mostly maple leaves, uh, kangaroos, Britannias that I've already showed you. So, But yeah, there is a pretty good variety in here, and, and there are a lot. And if you're looking to get cheap government-issued silver in my shop, this is a good option for you. Uh, as I mentioned before, American Silver Eagles did go down another 25 cents. I'm currently selling them for spot plus 275. So uh, dates of my choice or customer's choice out of the bin. But if you want solid tubes, it's kind of limited to what I have on hand. Uh, I am awaiting some 2023s to come in. I have about 600 on order once I get those. Most of them are already sold, but I will have uh, about 100 left that I can retail out. Uh, see, what do we got next? Just quickly go over this case real quick. If you look in the bottom here, this is where I usually keep kilos, 25 ounce bars. I have one 25 ounce bar and one kilo left. It's looking kind of lonely down there. We do have a good stockpile though of these 100 ounce Inglehard bars. If that's something you like, uh, you can uh, message me for a price on those. And as always, we do keep a fair amount of silver bars, one ounce fives and tens down in the bins. Silver rounds are up here. Those are still spot plus two and a half dollars today, which uh, Silver Seeker did a video just the other day about the online premiums for one ounce silver rounds. I think the cheapest big box retailer was well over $3 per ounce over spot. I'm at spot plus two and a half, so I guess I'm uh, too cheap maybe, but it really, it's based on what I have to pay for it, and I'm comfortable at two and a half dollars over based on my cost. So, silver rounds are a really good buy right now. And then, uh, sovereign silver this is the same type of stuff you saw in that impaired bin, but it's going to be a dollar cheaper. I'm sorry, a dollar more expensive because it's not impaired like this stuff. So, look at that nice, shiny silver. I love that. So, we're going to go over here quickly and then we'll get wrapped up. We did get some more gold in as well. So I'll quickly touch on that. Uh, I'd actually got gold bars as well, but about the time I got my gold bars unboxed yesterday, uh, somebody called, asked if I had any. I told them the quantity I had. They came in and bought every one. So I'm out of gold bars again till I can get more in the shop, but I did uh, get some, let me get this focused here. Get some one ounce American Gold Eagle one ounce gold Krugerrand from South Africa, one ounce US gold buffalo, and then a one ounce Canadian maple leaf. And then uh, we also do have a nice uh, $20 gold St. Gaudens, 1908. So just wanted to showcase some new things we have in the shop. If you have any questions, oop, get this focused again. It looks like I'm on with Silver Seeker there. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Um, if I don't respond immediately, it's because I'm insanely busy. Once I unlock this door, I usually have customers in here all day with me. And uh, I usually have about an hour's work to do after I close the shop. And then I'm ready to go home. I don't always have time to respond to emails. Uh, if you send me a text, that's usually the best way that you'll get a, a speedy response, or at least a somewhat speedy response. Uh, but here's my contact info here. I'm the first phone number there. So, but yeah, feel free to reach out. I appreciate everyone's support on YouTube. Oh, I know one other thing I wanna just do a show and tell on. For all of you Inglehard lovers, vintage silver Inglehard bars, I had this come in. Have you ever seen a bar like that? I hadn't. That's a vintage Inglehard Industries of Canada LTD, refiners and assayers, one troy ounce silver, 999 fine. It's serialized 31,409, but it's inside this framed, if you can see it here, United States obsolete dollar typeset. So it has an old uh, silver certificate, piece of currency. 
and then it has a Morgan silver dollar, a peace dollar, and the Engelhard. But I was so intrigued by that bar because I'd never seen one like that before. Um, my first reaction was, well, I got to take that home and keep it. Uh, but instead, I thought I would just leave it on display here in the shop to show it off. Uh, but it is not for sale. But I just wanted to share that because I thought it was a really cool, cool piece that I'd never seen before. So uh, with that, let me zoom back out here. Thanks for tuning in. I'm uh, excited to announce that we did pass 5,000 subscribers, which it still blows me away. I mean, I, I'm so blessed and thankful that we have a following on YouTube. It's uh, been great to meet a lot of new people, get our message out there with the education about the precious metal and coin collecting hobby. That is the main reason I started this channel was to educate and we're gonna continue to do so. I will be putting on my community tab coming up uh, a vote to see what educational video you all wanna see next. We did get some positive feedback from the last one we did regarding uh, selling your collection to a coin shop and the do's and don'ts involved. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, I'll link that in the description. But uh, thank you all for your support. Uh, we'll do this again real soon. We'll try to do a coin shop walkthrough about once a week for those that you, or for those that live out of town and can't visit the shop on a daily basis like so many can and so many do. Uh, we get a lot of regulars that are literally in every day and we appreciate that. So, But uh, I will do the walkthrough about once a week to keep you all abreast of what's new. Thanks for all your support. If you have questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks and have a great day.